remember to stay hydrated and today i'm going to be showing you guys what i'm carrying for the month of may there's a lot of sweet gear inside this loadout for now sit back relax and let's get it tell them to watch it now i ain't talking my pockets just no weed. so i've gone ahead and put together a really dope loadout for the month of may there's a ton of really cool gear inside this thing and we'll cover all that stuff in this video now if you're new to the monthly pocket dump series what i basically do is put together a really nice curated loadout every single month and showcase it to you guys let's go ahead and jump right into it and show you what i've got so the first item is going to be the canvas and this is the data crew what a slider if you guys have seen my 500k giveaway video i actually gave away three of this specific variant in orange now this is a very special hard to get variant i actually haven't really showcased it in any other videos but basically the material that it's made with is in this really nice rubber material i'm not exactly sure what it is but it makes it feel extra durable and robust i've gone ahead and upgraded this one with orange paracords this duff beer cam from zero feud as well as this 4t5 phase acrylic bead from 4t5 design i say it in every single pocket dump video just adding an extra bead will make a huge difference in terms of the overall aesthetic and functionality of the pouch on the backside pocket i do have some backup band-aids just because i did actually scrape myself on one of those electric scooters downtown so having extra band-aids in the backside pouch will actually be beneficial for me this month specifically as this wound heals moving to the front side is where all the hook and loop is and there are a bunch of patches here i'm not going to go into detail with all of them let's just name them off real quick the first one here at the top left is going to be the data crew edm collab patch next to that is the jrw tough as nails along with the jrw caution cone to the right of that is going to be the everyday minimalist v2 patch just because i really like this overall design under that is going to be the starco coke tools bottle cap we also have the cart snipes from notorious edc this mushroom from toxic patch co and of course one of my most favorite patches of all time the crispy clean grinds from justin lundquist let's crack this bad boy open and first thing that we're greeted with is going to be this awesome hank co hank this thing does have the sakaya pattern and i've gone ahead and actually wrapped it around my pocket art of choice for this month and this is the jrw accomplice i try to demonstrate what these things are on video i can't really say what it is specifically but it is a piece of pocket art and this one is in the battle bronze finish it's made of titanium i've gone ahead and added in a orange paracord along with this really special orange and blue scoopy loop speed the accomplice is a really nice piece and if you guys do show up to blade show atlanta i would really suggest that you guys start lining up at jamie's booth just because he's going to be bringing some crazy things i can tell you that right now now moving inside the pouch we're going to go from left to right my first item is going to be my secondary knife and this is the tactile knife co rock wall seasonal release this is the caution variant so it does have orange scales black dlc blade a caution logo here as well as a blackout pocket clip and hardware this knife was extremely limited so you guys may have had the chance to purchase one if you have one awesome if not there is still the standard rock wall but i believe this is a really cool knife if you want to see the full review check the link in the description below moving to the next item and that's going to be my pen of choice and of course this is from big idea design this is their dual side click mini in titanium with the black finish i feel like this just kind of wraps together with this entire loadout and having a pen on me it just really helps out to jot down my thoughts and stuff like that i also do carry some field notes with me that doesn't fit in the water slider that usually goes into my sling bag next to the pen is my flashlight and this is a brand new flashlight that i've never showed off this is the ray light and voss steed collabed rook the cool thing about this torch is it does have a bunch of different modes it's programmable goes for about 70 bucks and then you can actually recharge the battery let me just show you guys real quick so you just unscrew the top cap and there's a usb-c charging port here and then there's also an led that will tell you if the battery is fully charged it just kind of illuminates itself in blue this is a really cool flashlight gets extremely bright and i love the fact that i don't have to replace the batteries and before we move on to the next side of the pouch let's give a quick word for today's sponsor this video is brought to you by the house of blades a premier knife dealer located in fort worth texas i had the opportunity to visit house of blades down at blade show texas and man do they have one of the coolest knife shops that i've ever been to they pretty much stock every single knife brand that you can possibly imagine anywhere from benchmade spider co chris reeve knives microtech and a bunch of others we also had the chance to check 
check out their really cool laser engraving service. That laser room is just absolutely insane. If you guys want to do any customization to your blades or even how your Yeti water bottles, you can actually just send over your files and they will get that custom logo or whatever it is on whatever object you're laser engraving. If you guys are interested in getting a knife from House of Blades, make sure that you use code EDM for 10% off your entire order. Thank you so much to House of Blades for sponsoring our channel. Let's get back to the video. Now on this side of the pouch, I do have an orange JRW box logo patch. You guys may have seen it in other videos. I just really like this. Again, it does match with the overall aesthetic. Right behind that in the front pocket of the right side is going to be my multi-tool of choice, and this is the Gerber Dime. You guys may have seen this in the February pocket dump when I picked this up over at Shields. This is a really inexpensive multi-tool. has built-in scissors. You've got pliers. There's also a file built into it and a bottle opener. It's just a really accessible, easy to get micro multi-tool that will fit inside a pouch. And again, these things go for about 30 bucks. I would highly suggest that you pick one up if you don't already have one. Now on the backside pocket are gonna be the last two items. This first one is gonna be a brand new bit driver from NAFS. This thing is absolutely insane just because of how fidgety it is. Just look at this thing. It just goes forever. My friend Ben Peterson did a really good job with this thing designing it. I actually got to see the prototype of this thing and it was phenomenal. He actually upgraded a few things like this insane bearing made for fidgeters. And it also does carry a few Weeha bits. We've got a standard flat head. There's a T5 and a T6 head. I use bit drivers almost on a daily basis. And if I have it on the go, if a buddy wants me to maintenance their knife, I can literally just tear it apart on the table. And this tool is definitely useful. Last but not least is my pry bar. And this is of course the TMP tiebreaker, tactical and portable tiebreaker pry bar. This also does have a full size bit driver built into the pocket clip. I say it all the time, I use pry bars for camera plates and just prying random things. If I ever need a larger flathead screwdriver, this thing comes in on clutch. It's used every single day and I have to have a pry bar on me. A couple other upgrades I did to the EDC are gonna be my phone case and AirPods Pro case, both from Moment. Moment sent these out for me to test out and so far so good. The buttons on this phone case are really good just because whenever I've experienced other phone cases, when I go to press the volume up or volume down or even lock the phone, it feels really mushy, whereas this feels a lot more tactile. On top of that, the blackout Moment AirPods Pro case is really nice. It feels premium. And I just really like this leather texture that they did on this case specifically. Last but not least, let me show you guys my primary EDC. And of course, it's none other than the Koenig Arius, one of my most favorite knives of all time. This thing hasn't been seeing a ton of pocket time though. CRK Zahn, as well as the Chavez 229s, they've been actually occupying my pockets quite a bit. And this month, I just wanted to remember how good it was to carry the Koenig Arius. This thing is just an amazing knife. The last thing I wanted to address is a lot of you guys have been asking me how I carry my EDC pouches. And here is an amazing solution, again, from Moments. I've been using this thing for about three weeks. And this is the Moments Sling Bag. It actually already has a ton of organization built into it. You can throw your wallet in here, some cards and stuff like that. But what makes it really cool is you can fit your EDC pouch inside this thing, zip it up, and then just wear it across your body. I've been using EDC sling bags a lot more often, and especially with summer coming along, this thing is just gonna be really nice to have either on my back or on my chest. Shout outs to Moment for sending this thing out because this thing has been seeing a ton of use. You guys can probably see all the cat hair on it, whatever. But there you guys have it, what I'm planning to carry for the month of May. I wanna hear what your guys' loadouts are gonna be, so let me know in the comments section below. If you made it this far, throw me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, throw me a thumbs down, and I promise to you I'll do better next time. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for dropping by, and I guess we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.